Hello again everyone, it's Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo for Star Citizen Addicts Anonymous, and today I have another state of the game for you, but it's going to be combined with a little bit of state of Nikki. So the past week has been really hectic for me, it's now Friday morning, I'm getting ready for uh, my work day, which will start in just a few moments, and end tonight at about 8 o'clock, and uh, it's just a little bit past 7 right now. So what's going on with me and why we didn't have a Ben's Day or a Star Citizen Addicts Anonymous this week is college. And it's not that I'm not going to have time to do that in the future and this is an excuse. This is actually a rather funny story. So I've been trying to go back to school for quite some time. However, my degree or what I left on the table as my degree was in aeronautics. It's going to be very difficult for me to go back to my alma mater, Dowling College on Long Island, and complete that degree living here in Atlanta, being that a lot of my later classes have labs that would need to be done somewhere. I thought about transferring into a place like uh, Georgia Tech down here, which would be able to facilitate that, but just didn't happen. And then there was the case shit, that shit, Apple shit, 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 um, doesn't shit, make shit, 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 airplanes shit, or spacecraft shit. yet. So getting my company to pay for a uh, college degree wow. that was not going to be useful for them was not going to happen. Well, over the time I've been learning other things that I like to do and one of them is communications and specifically organizational communications which still isn't my exact job but it is something that's done at my company. Way back in June of this past year it was announced that my company would pay for a degree in any occupation that you could have at Apple. So I took advantage of that and uh, went through late registration, got all my classes selected after missing orientation and started on my way to school on Monday. So on Monday and Tuesday, I went to the class that I had taken, and uh, little by little over the week, things changed. Schools do an evaluation of transfer credits, and at the beginning of the week, I had 36, very few that were gonna transfer into my degree track. And uh, then, uh, well, let's just say then Wednesday hit. I'm in a class, I get an email from the registrar's office saying that they've removed all my credits from my transfer as they're doing another evaluation, dropping me down to a freshman. Oh, I I, I just um, can't so the classes strong. I was taking were still needed, but I also needed prerequisites for them, so it was starting to uh, show up on the computers of the uh, professors in the classes I was going to. All right, so that's where I was on Wednesday. Okay, so Wednesday, freaking out, not knowing if I was going to take those classes or not. Well, Wednesday night around uh, 10.30, just as I'm going to bed, there's another email to check my status. I check it, and all of a sudden now, I'm a sophomore. Wow, it's great. So I went from freshman to sophomore, and a couple of the classes that I was taking I needed to now get out of because I already had credit for them, taking them years ago. Well... I uh, started moving around classes because it is ad drop week and frantically all day Thursday while at work um, from time to time when I could take a break I was looking and trying to rearrange classes. Well I got all my classes rearranged and then midday Thursday hit and all of a sudden now I'm a junior <laughs> and all the classes I have again are things that I had taken in the past which I knew I had taken but it's up to the school to take them and they just give me credit. Well, lo and behold, what started off on Monday as a few classes I was going to love to take has now moved into a few classes that I'm still going to love to take, but are totally Let's opposite. Go. So it pretty much took my week up. The second piece is, I think Ben is extremely busy. I've sent him texts and emails, and maybe he's not in the office, maybe I'm missing something, but he has not gotten back to me to do a Ben's Day. And... That's disturbing because this is the first time ever that's happened, and I'm sure it's something really big going on in his life or at work that's keeping me from that. I did get a uh, text back from Sandy on Dragon Con, which is coming up in just a few weeks. She may crash anyway. the gate, but she's not putting herself on the bill. Right now we have David Haddock, David Ladyman, and Ben Lesnick that are going to be taking care of many of the different panels that they'll be on there and of course I'll be there and we'll be arranging some kind of meet and greet like we did last year 
Um, those of you that didn't know, uh, Ben, David, and I, and uh, Mohawk from the Enablers, and a few other people, um, Kelsey, uh, <laughs> Captain Bob, um, and even more people than that, Eris from uh, the Enablers also, all went out to uh, get some drinks and food after uh, the Saturday event. On Thursday, uh, the Enablers and the Atlanta Gamers Guild held a get-together at a bar, which... Uh, Oliver, a.k.a. Mohawk, is trying to set up at this point. So if you're going to the Dragon Con event and are going to go sit through the panels, do you look for me. And you could uh, follow my Twitter that day, which is at StarCitizenAA, and I will give all information on where we'll meet. And uh, Ben will be with us, so if you want to go meet Ben, have a drink with Ben, um, David Haddock, who is amazing to talk to, or David Lederman, equally amazing to talk to please follow my twitter and uh that will get you to where you want to be again that's at star citizen aa so what's going on in star citizen because i missed the week right well, the big thing is variants for the vanguard and i'm starting off with that one for one major reason because the vanguard is like the mustang to me it is one of those ships that i just had to have just have to fly and just want to love so variant sales are going to begin for the Vanguard next week, which is exciting because it's a pay week for me. And uh, I will probably upgrade the one I have to whatever they sell as a variant because I like those limited variants that don't come around again, which is why I cried when I melted my freelancer MIS for a less than stellar Vandal Glaive. But I'm sure the Glaive will be upgraded in the future. So. Vanguard variants coming next week. Get your pockets ready, get your purses ready, get your wallets ready, whatever. it, Wherever it is that you keep your money. Um, of course, you know, all these will be available in game. So if you don't want to spend real hard-earned cash, just wait for the game to go live. And you'll be able to get them at that point. There's a big transition in the way that uh, Star Citizen is hosted. And... The server hosting is being pushed to Google Cloud Computing, yeah. and that was uh, begun yesterday and should yeah. alleviate a lot of the issues that many of you have that aren't within 100 to 300 yeah, miles right. of Austin. At least I hope. At least that's what I'm told. So with Google Cloud Computing, the actual instances will, well, they'll be virtually around the world. I think that's the way, the way that it was stated. So you'll be able to probably find lower pings um, wherever you are when you're playing um, locally, people that are local. But if you introduce people that are still from halfway around the world, I don't know what that's going to be. So Google Cloud Computing has been enabled by now, being that it is Friday morning. All right, what's next? Let's see. There has been quite a few uh, sales that we missed over the last week. I talked about them in the last one. We had the modular sales, and we will see a lot more of them. But those modular sales, well, they sparked a little bit of a uh, question in my mind. It's always been said that LTI is meaningless. It's always been said that LTI was on the hull only. It's always been said that you're going to have separate component insurance. So it led you to believe that there would never be LTI on the components or modules that you add to your ship. That way you would always have to pay for some kind of insurance. Now, not a stickler, I really don't care. They'll find other ways to pull money out of the system. But that's exactly what insurance is. It's a way to pull money out of the system. Well, what do I mean by pulling money out of the system? Well you got to look at it this way. If everyone keeps on running missions and keeps on making money without a way for money to be removed from the system, a.k.a. expenses that you need to pay, like fuel, hangar fees, landing fees, insurance, there's going to be runaway inflation. Well, what is this runaway inflation? If everybody has money, what, what does that mean? Well, if everyone keeps on making money and accumulating money and not, and not having to use money to pay for things, people start to amass an, a, an immense amount of UEC credits, right, UEC. And when that happens, it's going to push prices up because when somebody's sitting there with a billion UEC and somebody else is sitting there with 900 million UEC and somebody else is sitting there with 10 billion UEC, 
products start to tend costing hundreds of millions of UEC. So there has to be a way for cash to come out, for, for credits to come out of the system, whether that be for landing fees, for jump gate fees, for insurance fees, whatever that is. But every time they offer LTI on a module, a component, a ship, it reduces the amount of money coming out of the system and increases inflation or, even worse, increases the cost of all the other things that we have to pay for. Ammunition, fuel, maintenance. Remember, our ships will wear and tear. Our ships will have problems that need to be repaired. So, if one thing in that whole grand scheme of things is reduced, it's just going to hit us somewhere else. So that's one thing, and that's my thought for today, that I had pulled out of the last week. Now, there's many more things going on, and I do still plan on getting into the green screen room, my uh, green room, and doing a Star Citizen AA this weekend. Wait for that. It should be a good one, because I'm hoping to talk a little bit more about some of the wonderful things that we saw at Gamescom. All right, so I'll continue to uh, send uh, feelers out to Ben to see when he could do another Ben's Day. I'm sure he'll do it within the next day or so. And uh, I guess that's all I got for you at this point. So with that said, you all be safe out there, and I'll talk to you soon.